How well do you think you know our planet? Let's dive right into it with our first surprise. Earth's continents are in constant motion. Yes, you heard it right. Our continents aren't fixed. They are riding on massive slabs of rock or tectonic plates that slowly but continuously drift across the molten mantle beneath. This process is known as continental drift. It's not a speedy journey though, these plates only move about as fast as your fingernails grow, approximately 2 to 3 inches per year. But over millions of years, the effects are profound, continually reshaping our planet's face. And here's a peek into the future. Millions of years from now, these drifting continents will collide once more, forming a brand new supercontinent. Imagine that, a totally different world map. So, next time you look at a world map, remember, it's just a snapshot in time. We all learned about Earth's layers in school, but did you know our planet's core is a boiling liquid metal? Now let's break this down. The Earth's core, the deepest part of our planet, is composed mostly of iron and nickel. These metals have melting points well above a thousand degrees Celsius. But, here's the kicker. The temperature at the center of the Earth is estimated to be around 5,400 degrees Celsius. That's as hot as the surface of the Sun. At this scorching temperature, the metals melt and form a sea of liquid metal. The immense pressure, however, keeps it from behaving like the liquids we're familiar with. It's more like a molten metal, swirling and churning deep beneath our feet. This flowing ocean of metal is what generates Earth's magnetic field. So the center of our planet isn't just hot, it's molten hot. Ever heard of a waterfall, underground? Welcome to the Cenotes of Mexico. These natural swimming holes are a hidden treasure, formed by the collapse of porous limestone bedrock. This collapse uncovers a secret world of stunning underground waterfalls and crystal clear pools. But these cenotes are more than just a sight for sore eyes, they hold a significant place in the rich tapestry of Mayan culture. The ancient Mayans revered these cenotes as sacred wells and believed they were portals to speak with the gods. They were also the Mayans' primary source of fresh water, as the Yucatan Peninsula lacks rivers and lakes. So these cenotes were not just geologically significant, but they also played a crucial role in the survival of an entire civilization. Today they continue to captivate us with their beauty and mystery, while reminding us of the intricate and wonderful ways of nature. So remember, not all waterfalls are above ground. Earth's magnetic field our invisible shield in space, but did you know it's always on the move? Let's take a closer look. Just like our continents, the magnetic poles of our planet are always shifting, albeit at a much slower pace. This movement is due to changes in the flow of molten iron within Earth's outer core. Our magnetic field plays a crucial role in protecting us, acting as a buffer against the solar winds. These are streams of charged particles hurled from the sun which could potentially strip away our atmosphere and make life as we know it impossible. But thanks to this ever-changing magnetic field, we're safe and sound. It's fascinating, isn't it? How even the things we can't see are constantly at work, ensuring our survival on this beautiful planet. So compasses may point north, but that north is a moving target. Lakes are usually calm and serene, but some can explode with deadly force. Meet Lake Nyos and Lake Kivu. In the heart of Africa, these lakes harbor a deadly secret. They're saturated with dissolved carbon dioxide. This gas builds up over time, creating a ticking time bomb beneath the surface. Now imagine a volcanic eruption, or a significant landslide occurring nearby. The disturbance could trigger a limnic eruption, a rare natural disaster causing the lake to explode and release a cloud of deadly gas. In 1986, Lake Neos erupted, claiming the lives of over 1,700 people. Lake Kivu, straddling the border of Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo, is 20 times larger than Lake Neos and sits on a volcanic rift, making it a potential threat to 2 million people living nearby. So, not all lakes are as peaceful as they seem. Auroras, Earth's own light show, but we're not the only planet with this spectacle. Often called the Northern or Southern Lights, these mesmerizing displays are caused by charged particles from the Sun interacting with our planet's magnetic field. These particles traveling on solar wind collide with gas particles in our atmosphere. This collision results in a fantastic display of light, the auroras we know and love. But hold on to your hats because it's not an Earth-only party. Other planets in our solar system such as Jupiter and Saturn also have their magnetic fields and atmospheres. They too receive charged particles from the Sun and, as a result, put on their own aurora shows. These extraterrestrial light displays might look a little different from ours but they're auroras nonetheless. So, 
Auroras aren't just Earth's exclusive light show. Dust, it's everywhere, even raining down from space. Yes, you heard right. Among the countless particles that float around us, some have traveled light years across the cosmos to end up in your home. This isn't your everyday household dust, though. It's cosmic dust, tiny fragments from comets and asteroids. These microscopic travelers are more than just interstellar dust bunnies. They carry within them the secrets of our universe. By studying these particles, scientists can unlock clues about the formation and evolution of our solar system, giving us a glimpse into the vast chronicle of cosmic time. These tiny particles, often no larger than a grain of sand, are remnants of celestial bodies that have traversed the unfathomable distances of space. They're a testament to the ever-changing and interconnected nature of our universe. So next time you dust off your bookshelves, remember, some of that dust might be from outer space. The ocean floor isn't a static landscape, it's constantly being recycled. Yes, you heard that right. Our planet's seafloor is a hotbed of geological activity. Let's talk about seafloor spreading. This is a process where molten rock or magma erupts through the ocean floor at mid-ocean ridges, the longest mountain range in the world. As the magma cools, it hardens into new crust, pushing the older, cooler crust away. But what happens to this old crust? Well, it doesn't just pile up, instead it's pushed towards deep ocean trenches by the movement of tectonic plates. These trenches are the deepest parts of our oceans. Here the old crust is forced or subducted back into the mantle. And what about seamounts? These are underwater mountains and they're constantly being created and destroyed through these same processes. They rise from the seafloor, but over millions of years they too are pushed back down into the mantle. So the ocean floor is more dynamic than it appears. Mount Everest might be the highest point above sea level, but it's not the tallest mountain. Now, let's break that down. When we say highest, we're talking about the distance from sea level to the peak. Mount Everest, standing at a staggering 29,031 feet, is undeniably the highest in this regard. But tallest is a different story. The title for the tallest mountain goes to Mauna Kea in Hawaii. Now you might be wondering how's that possible? Well, it's all about perspective. Tallest refers to the distance from the base to the peak. Most of Mauna Kea is underwater. And if you measure from its base at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, it stands over 33,000 feet tall, far outstripping Everest. So remember, highest and tallest aren't always the same thing. Ever heard of a living fossil? Meet the horseshoe crab. These fascinating creatures have been around for more than 450 million years. That's right, they were scuttling around in the ocean when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Despite their name, horseshoe crabs aren't actually crabs or even crustaceans. They're more closely related to spiders and scorpions. Their hard, horseshoe-shaped shells protect them from predators. And they have a suite of eyes around their bodies to help them navigate their environment. But these critters aren't just cool to look at. They're also incredibly important for medical research. Their blue blood, yes you heard that right, blue blood, contains a substance that can detect bacterial contamination in medical equipment and vaccines. So horseshoe crabs are living reminders of Earth's ancient past.